Welcome back, Indie Warriors. It's me, your gamer ghoul friend. Are you someone that stays on their computer while working, studying, or doing chores around the house? Is the Lo-Fi Girl YouTube channel a chronically open tab on your computer, delivering the best Lo-Fi vibes for you to relax and study to? Honestly, me too. So when Mooncube Games announced their first game release, Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions, a cozy, casual, gamified focus tool, I was curious, how well would this tool work with my schedule, and would I keep coming back to it? Before I hop into this review, grab a cup of tea and be sure to keep those good vibes going by checking out our Patreon. You can sign up for some incredible perks like early ad-free videos, access to our Discord and podcast, a shout out at the end of every video we produce, and yes, even free games depending on the tier. At patreon.com slash games, your indie gaming community is waiting for you. Spirit City Lo-Fi Session opens with a quick and simple tutorial, explaining that your character is a spiritographer who photographs the various spirits that will visit your room while the game is running. The longer you remain in-game, the more experience you earn. The more experience you earn, the more spirit credits you have to customize your room, character, and so much more. And you'll be able to unlock new spirit companions to find. Easy peasy. Since this is a game that's kind of meant to be, well, not exactly played, I was worried that I would find myself getting bored of just hearing the same old lo-fi playlist over and over, but I'm pleased to report I never found myself getting tired of it. Spirit City offers a range of lo-fi playlists by various artists for you to choose from in-game. Each playlist offers a slightly different vibe and comes with the additional ability to layer the music with various sound effects like a fireplace burning, bird songs, white noise, or my personal favorite, thunderstorm noises. Often while studying or relaxing, I'm pulling up various YouTube tabs to accomplish a lo-fi vibe with rain sounds over it, so it was really nice to have that as an added component. And just as I found myself thinking, okay, I need to listen to something more upbeat. I realized the game also had a built-in web browser so you could search YouTube to play whatever your heart desired. This feature was probably the thing that sold me here. If you're not really a lo-fi girly first thing in the morning and you want to wake up to the Doom Eternal soundtrack, totally doable, even though it may not be the intended vibe here. More than that, as a streamer, I'm constantly playing lo-fi in the background for certain streams. So being able to access the copyright-free channels means that I can utilize this tool for those chill stream days without worrying about getting TOS. Win-win. Spirit City also features a number of other tools to help you stay on track, like a timer that you can set to let it remind you to take breaks, a to-do list to check off tasks and earn experience when you're done, a habits list that allows you to mark off those daily tasks like taking your meds, drinking water, or kissing your cat on the forehead. There's also an in-game journal you can use to help log your thoughts and do a little mental health self-care. The interfaces for these tools were easy to navigate, and I really appreciated the visuals on screen to show how much time I had left in my timer. I also noted the alert wasn't too loud or intrusive, so there's no worry of accidentally jump scaring your while studying. Though, if the display on screen feels too cluttered for you and you just want to focus on the chill vibes, you can always hide the user interface by pressing H. A small word of warning here, at the time of playing this game, since H hid the UI, when I went to search for music in the web browser section, any word that included the letter H was closing out the UI as well. I did message the developers about it before filming this review, so hopefully this can be addressed before the full release, but I just wanted to mention it here just in case. While the music and soundscapes are one of the big draws of this title, the main gameplay lies in the spirit decks. Like I said, you're a spiritographer, here to photograph the visiting specters in your room. Each spirit can only be lured out of their hiding place while you do certain activities, like sitting by the fireplace while it's on. To do this, you'll need to turn on the fireplace sound effect while your avatar is sitting in that area. Or this creature has awoken you from your sleep with birdsong, means you'll need to change the time to morning, be in your bed, and select the birdsong soundscape in order to attract that particular spirit. When you're on the right track to finding the spirit, your spirit decks will light up, letting you know that your spirit is being lured, so be patient. They'll just vibe out in their habitat until it's time for the player to take their photograph and add them to the spirit decks. Even if a spirit shows up while you have the UI hidden, the game will play a quiet sound to let you know a spirit is in the room and ready to be your friend. Once added, you can decide if you'd like to change your spirit companion to one of your newly acquired friends, or if you'd like to change their appearance. The designs of the creatures are so cute, and each of them were so precious it was hard to choose which one to spend time with. 
Oh yeah, and you can even pet some of them, which is honestly an added bonus. The character customization is simple, but with a lot of cute options. Each character presents as a gender-neutral figure you can customize to be fantastical or closer to your human form. Your character can present as more feminine, masculine, or somewhere in between, and there's a variety of cute clothing, hairstyles, and accessories to express yourself with. Your space is also completely customizable. You can change paint colors, wall decor, bedding, and so much more. I was hoping to see more options for decorating while my character leveled up, but so far it seems there isn't much in the shop and the customization for your room is very simple compared to games like Animal Crossing or The Sims, but the options were still very cute, although I am hoping for more in the future. The visuals of this game are colorful and cozy, and I appreciate that the lighting of your room changes depending on the mood that you choose. And when you add rainfall or wind sounds, you can have the option to have the rain physically hit the windows or just have the sound without the visuals or vice versa. The 3D anime style graphics add to the cute aesthetic and your room feels warm, cozy, and inviting. Because Spirit City is largely a focus tool that features a killer range of music, there is no dialogue and all of the info about the creatures only appear as text on screen. I also appreciated that the game could be played at full screen or sized down to accommodate other windows you might need for your study session. To really test out this game, I decided to put it to the ultimate test by running it on my 2012 MacBook Pro. While Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions isn't currently available for the Mac OS, I was able to access the game via Steam Link. So as long as your PC is turned on and connected to the Wi-Fi, you could still access the title. I even went out to find some less than stellar Wi-Fi to test out the game. So if you wanna take it to your study session at the library or coffee shop, it's totally doable. I ran into absolutely no issues choose running this game. That's a really big positive for me, but I do hope the devs will consider releasing the game for Mac as well. I know I personally would have loved to have this available to me whenever I was back in school. So I hope the full release will accommodate a wide range of audiences someday. Some early players did report experiencing a high CPU usage that caused the music to stutter. While I personally experienced no issues running the game while having it open, Twitch running, and simultaneously writing this review, I also understand that not everyone has the same computer I do, so take my and their experience with a grain of salt. Mooncube Studios should be so proud of Spirit City. I opened the game, and before I knew it, six hours had gone in the blink of an eye. It's a chill body doubling game with task management aspects that help improve concentration and ease stress. I was worried at the start of this review that this wouldn't be a game I'd find myself returning to and would have very little to talk about. But I couldn't have been more wrong. If you're tired of YouTube ads ruining your lo-fi vibes and you're a fan of a cozy, witchy aesthetic, look no further. Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions is available on Steam on April 8th and is the perfect addition to up your focus.